Hi to all you friends, Princeton's again, I'm going back to our video. I got both Megan's and Circus Baby here. And today, I'm going to review the movie Abigail, which I bought yesterday, and we watched yesterday. I've only seen it one more time, and that was in the theater. And I enjoyed this movie, and me and my mom, and my her boyfriend Scott, actually enjoyed this movie as well. And before I start this video, spoilers, 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 spoilers. I'm going to spoil some things in this movie. This review isn't going to be long or anything. It's going to be short and sweet and to the point. So, the plot of this movie is basically this group of criminals steal this little girl named Abigail for ransom. Turns out that she is a motherfucking vampire. <laughs> Um, and they didn't know that, so they have her chained up on this bed in this mansion. But they basically, she basically goes ape shit on everybody and starts killing and biting people. And that's basically it. Um, the movie is, is, what is this story? I do know Catherine Newton's in this movie. She plays like the hacker girl who is right here. This girl here. Um, there are certain scenes in this movie, scenes in this movie that I really like. Like, um, Abigail's dancing and her killing people and there is one scene where um, they get they get Catherine Newton. They bite her. Her name is Sammy in the movie, and they bite her. And the way she's dancing in the movie, Abigail is doing this. Well, Abigail was like dancing in the movie, and then um, Sammy is copying her because she's manipulating her and stuff. Um, There are some some pretty good special effects in this movie. Someone gets their head chopped off, and then later Abigail is dancing with the dead body. Um, someone gets bit, and they get like a flesh ripped out of their freaking neck. Pretty gnarly. There's a scene where Abigail gets, Abigail gets her fucking hand blown off, and you see like the bone like coming out of the the stump. Pretty definitely not for kids. The movie isn't. Um, there's a scene where Kathy Newton literally gets exposed to the line and she fucking explodes, which was crazy. There are two other vampires who explode once. I'm not going to explode who it was. Um, and it was full of comedy as well. There's a scene where Abigail was locked in a cage. Well, not a case, like a prison cell type of place, and uh, um, Catherine Sammy asks Abigail, I was like, you bet me, am I going to turn into a vampire? And she's like, maybe, and she's like, oh my gosh, she said maybe, holy shit, <laughs> that was funny. Um, And there are some other people in this movie which I recognize, but I'm not sure that I'm not sure on the names. But the acting in this movie was amazing. I just Abigail, but Catherine and everybody else is really good. The girl from Scream Six and Seven, six, Five and Six was in this movie, and she was really good. She plays her final girl, and she was really good as well. Um, a lot of vampires, a lot of creepiness in this movie. Abigail was a great horror icon. There's a scene where she's literally, like, it's like Megan when she's in the woods chasing Brandon, but in reverse, she's like on her, on her back, she's like back bending, which is crazy, man. Um, Abigail's face, the way her sharp teeth looked, the way she had that scowl on her face, looked really good, looked really freaky. Um, There's other scenes in this movie. Someone gets, gets like stabbed with a fucking necklace, I guess. 
on the chest. I'll be able to zap. Um, who did who played Abigail? By the way, that's insane. Um, oh, so there's other scenes in this movie that are crazy as hell, but I don't want to spoil any of it. But all in all, I enjoy this movie a lot. It's definitely my favorite movie of the year so far. I have not seen Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey Part Two. I still haven't seen Terror I haven't seen a, a other movie, other horror movies, but, um, Imaginary was okay, but it wasn't as good as this was, um, but yeah, this movie's really good, if you have not seen this movie, I definitely recommend it, it's a lot of fun, it's very entertaining and bloody, it's creepy, it's funny, it's, like I said, it's gory. It's everything you want in a horror movie and more. It's just a great time. Um, Abigail is definitely going to become as a horror. It's definitely going to be a horror icon of the genre. Her and Megan definitely. I can see inspiration from, coming from Megan because the way she dances, the way she attacks people, the way she's dancing and killing people seems really similar to Megan, doesn't it? I definitely want to get an Abigail plushie now. And the Abigail Funko Pop. Hopefully I can find one. I'm not sure if they sell those on online or anything. But yeah. Definitely love this movie. Definitely glad I can watch it whenever I want. Because I have a DVD. This was 17 bucks, Which wasn't too bad. But yeah. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought of the Abigail. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you thought it was okay? Let me know. And, yeah. With that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace out. Stay tuned for videos coming to you tomorrow or next year. I don't want to go to upload videos. Don't know what the plans are for us tomorrow, but we'll see. But, yeah. With that, by the way, guys, I do have something I want to show you all. I do have an Abigail paper doll I made that's right here. Um... She's really cool. I made her like a few months ago when I saw Abigail in the theater. And yeah, let's show you guys this. I did her all by myself. And yeah, pretty cool. But yeah. But yeah, now with that being said, let me know what thought of Abigail. Let me know in the comments. Sound off in the comments. If you want to do spoilers, you can do spoilers. I don't care. This is a spoiler review, so let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace out. See you in the next video. Bye.